Hi guys, today um, we're going to be doing, I'm going to be answering questions from my Q&A, the Q&A that I did on, um, on Instagram. So yeah, without wasting any time, I'm just going to get right into it and I haven't seen you guys in a while so I'm back and I have a little makeup on. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I don't know how to put them in the right order. I don't, I don't know, like should I, because they, there are some hectic questions in here. So I don't know if I should start with like the, okay, let, let me just start because I'm not going to start. Oh, how, how old are you? Um, 23. I was born in 1997. So yeah, I'm 23. I'm turning 24. I'm old. <laughs> I'm old. Um, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a sibling. I have a little sister. Uh, oh my gosh, that's so hectic. But yeah, uh, let us let me just start in, in the order because this is not making any sense because I have to scroll up in favorite alcoholic bev. No, I like gin. I like anything that's gin and i like white wine dry white wine and what else do i like i like gorana ah my fighter gorana is my ultimate go go to um bev i love it so much i can drink the whole six pack just by myself because that's how much i enjoy it um what are you afraid of I'm afraid of a lot of things. I'm afraid of losing people that I love, but not loss in that kind of sense, like, oh, you're leaving my life, but more of like death, because I feel like death is so permanent, and yeah, and you can never see those people again, so that's, death scares me. And the funny thing about death is it's, it's uh, one thing we're certain of. It's one thing that we're sure that it's gonna happen. So the fact that, yeah, it has to happen, like, it's it's scary. Like, yeah, it, it is very scary. Um, where did you learn how to sew? I learned at Vega. I used to attend Saturday classes there. And, yeah. I took uh, it took longer than it would like I think it was it six weeks but I took a long time I, I took a long time it's just yeah would you consider living in Korea yes but <laughs> not now not anytime soon not what's wrong with my dog not now not not anytime soon but yeah, I would consider moving anywhere actually. I'd consider moving anywhere. Like just living anywhere. I wanna live anyway. Do you ever see yourself getting married? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I think I think as you move to different stages of your life you consider a lot of things if you had asked me this question um, a year ago i would have said no but now yeah definitely are you single <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> no <laughs> no i'm not single um why is the sky blue i don't know let, let me check like why is the sky blue why is the sky blue the sky is blue because oh my gosh because god said let it be blue would would you ever consider moving abroad yeah i answered this already i'd live anywhere in the world as long as it's safe for women and for black people also and I'm getting money. I don't want to move somewhere and struggle financially. So, like, all of those factors have to make sense. It has to make a lot of sense. Money 
racism I, I i know there's racism in the world even in south africa there's a lot of racism so i i, I honestly i don't know i but yeah i would move i would move why are you against marriage and kids i'm not against them i am scared of kids because like i have to be pregnant like not not i'm not talking about like the the processes of adopting and stuff i'm just talking about like me having kids so i have to be pregnant first of all so yeah i'm, I'm really scared of kids and i feel like there's no point in i have a lot of fears about pregnancy you can die giving birth you your child can die how am i supposed to move on from the pain of losing a child uh it's a lot of things i have a lot of fears so it's not that i'm against them it's just that i have i'm scared yeah that, that that's it when is your clothing brand dropping soon why sewing it's 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 stress relieving it's relaxing it makes me feel connected to myself it made it taught me a lot of patience i used to like not have patience at all but now i have a lot of patience and i am i love me like i love me right now what are you reading now i'm not reading anything oh what 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 was i reading i just finished a book like three days ago um i was reading how to marry a, a mackies is that how you say it let me see. So he's gonna say it for me. Marky. Huh? Marky. Oh, Marky. How how to marry? Marky. How to marry a Marky? That that's what I was reading. I'm not white, guys. My first language is not English, so let's skip that. Have you ever been cheated on? Yeah. oh my gosh i can't believe i'm laughing yeah i have been cheated on dark times um uh once so you posted a child do you have a kid no i don't have a kid um it was probably my cousin's kid she's adorable but yeah i i don't have a kid um how did you get into bts how do you get into something i i just started uh, when was this I, I i watched a k drama and then afterwards i i was um searching soundtracks because i love i love the music so i saw euphoria by bts and then i downloaded the song and it, like it was the only song i downloaded on that um album and then I listened to it and I used to like listen to it every day. No, I actually downloaded it and I forgot about it for like a while. And then there was this other time I, I did um, shuffle play and I was and it played and I was like, wow, what is this song? And then I was like, oh, Euphoria. And then I started listening to it and I looked up the lyrics and I was like, but there's but bts is seven because I, I had been seeing them on my TL and on YouTube recommendations. So I was like, but and these guys seven why is there only one um voice and then i looked it up and yeah it was um jungkook's um solo song so yeah oh, i'm deleting i deleted something oh fuck did i oh i didn't yeah so uh so i i listened to it and i downloaded the whole album and i just yeah the rest is history summer or winter definitely winter uh do you celebrate valentine's day yeah i mean i have a man so how many people have you slept with over the last month zero because <laughs> i am celibate so zero yeah do you think you date anytime soon or are you not interested in dating anymore i'm dating now this moment this is the moment that's happening i am dating what's the meaning of your channel name and how do you pronounce pronounce it um it's elema it's um lamont fushon so l e is me because my name is leaho so it's l e 
and then month is for Montaji, so we cut it there and Rushon is my late nephew so how long were you celibate and how did you manage i want to try it i think you should try it celibacy is i don't think it's something that you can say i want to try it because when i did it i had a clear goal of what i wanted in life and it was so easy for me not not saying like it, it was easy easy but it was wasn't that hard and i achieved my goal i believe and i'm still achieving it so i think celibacy is not hard and i was i am still celibate it's been two years three months so yeah i think you should try it maybe even if it's like six months just do it for your own good for whatever reason you want to do it mm. what's your favorite childhood memory my favorite childhood memory is oh it was i think it was on my birthday my mom no it wasn't on my birthday because if it was then that doesn't make sense but i was young and we went to varampad in 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 um, limbobo so we went there and then uh we were swimming and I, my mom was pregnant with my little sister and then i was floating on top of her belly so i think that was really cute i love it i wish we had pictures i don't know if we had pictures and my, my dad lost my ball so i'm still salty about that um okay last this is the last question um are men um still trash yeah i this is how i see it right i think men will always be um trash i think the i don't want to call it a movement but i want to say i think the reason behind this um phrase is the fact that women have been victimized a lot by men i am scared of men i'm not gonna lie um i think i speak for every woman when we say when you walk alone even if it's not at night but the, if there's a man behind you then you suddenly become uh, how do you say it on, on your body's like on high alert like could he try something because men nowadays though they don't it's not even nowadays it's like men don't even wait until like it's dark they they try anything they try anything and they um they assault women so i i don't think it's even like in my country only i think it happens a lot everywhere so yeah men are still trash and i still stand by it and i think it's even weirder when you get um women who are like men are trash but not not joe um especially joe baby especially joe because you cannot you need to keep you need to hold men accountable you don't need to be like um my man is not trash but the rest are like you need to hold each and every man accountable for anything that they could be doing to women they could be victimizing women in any way so i think we need to have that honest discussion and and conversation about how trash men are and we don't we need to like hold everyone accountable every man in your life you need to hold them accountable because i i show you there's something that they have done to women that doesn't yeah so um yeah every man is trash in my opinion and whoever gets mad at that is trash that's just it um yeah i'm i think i'm done talking about that and the questions went a lot but i'm really glad i did this um we are in my new workspace Ta -da! <laughs> and i painted i painted i painted myself i'm really proud of myself so yeah um we are in my new workspace i don't know if i'm gonna do a tour because it's 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 still coming along it's 
still coming along but yeah i i really love it i love this new workspace and i'm gonna work in here from now on I think everything um sewing filming just everything i just need a few things here and there but yeah i really love this place and if you saw my insta stories then you would see how hard i was working please give me praise say love you worked very hard that's gonna make me happy um thank you so much guys for asking your questions and i hope that i can see you soon i love each and every one of you for supporting my channel because i have a lot of love to give just take it just take it. just take the love um uh, so yeah i just want to thank you so much for tuning in um to this week's um video and i am gonna see you next week i'm making a promise i'm i'm binding myself right now i'm making a promise i'm gonna see you next week come rain or sunshine so thank you so much for watching and it's a little hard for me to film right now because i'm using another device don't ask me what happened to my camera yeah so yeah but i'm gonna be consistent this is longer than i thought it would have been but thank you so much for watching i love you bye